Hello friends, I am Hardik Patel. Welcome back to Django Race Framework Tutorial. In this video, I am going to talk about how to upload a file or image through REST API. So we are going to build one uh, REST API using Django Race Framework and we will use Postman to post the file to that API. So you will understand how uh, file and images works in uh, Django Race Framework, right? So there are and so many uh, viewers and uh, subscribers ask for this video. So I'm making this one. So just uh, look at that. Okay. So let's start uh, how we are going to do that. So basically we have that employee management system application we are uh, developing throughout this Django series and Django Risk Framework series. So in, in this uh, project we have employee table and uh, that is something user itself and we have extended one more table that is profile in which we have put one field that is picture so i will show that so this is the models.py and this is profile we have one to one field uh, to user model and we have three more fields uh, to add more info to user table right so designation salary and picture so this is the picture uh, picture field and inside that we have used image field and those fields will be uploaded to pictures then uh, what is the year what is the month and what is the date right so today is 29th uh, of december 2018 so that means pictures 2018 then 12 then 29 right so that's how it will be stored okay so the model is that now what by, what i want to do let's say for example uh, there are two way of updating the profile one if i am an admin i can update other employees profile right so i will i should have that uh, particular url so so i have employee view set in which i have permission to change other employees profile as well right but look at this serializer employee serializer so in employee serializer we have profile but that is read only so that means you can just create this employee with minimal minimum fields which are available in user table so that is username first name last name email e staff is active date join and e super user so those are the fields you can use to create the user but if you pass the profile it will be ignored otherwise or maybe it can raise an exception that profile field is not available in user table okay so that is the one thing so that means this table uh, this serializer will be used as a uh, if you if you will try to get the data then profile will be written of that user so let me let me uh, show you the example so we can use this postman for that so this is the login api so i have to log in first so i have just already logged in so I'm going to use this token for the next request if okay so let me write employee and let me put header this is how we can pass the token if I send data with this header okay let me see what is happening here yeah okay so as you can see there are two users are al already added now what i'm going to do i'm going to create one more employee so i can use the post i will just pass few data so i will show uh, this request uh, without adding any data so it will ask us to add few more fields which are required okay so let's see this is 400 it is it is saying that username is required field so i can just pass username and just uh, let's say for example arrow okay i'm sending this so it will create the user and all the fields are blank because all fields are not uh, required and those are like 
not unique or something right so we can add more fields so now you, it, it, even though you will pass it will saying that the user is already exit with that username so you will not be able to use the same username again now what you need to do is you just need to use the put method and what you need to do here you have to pass the id in the query parameters so now ul is different if i pass this it will update that right now i can add few more fields here first name okay so now it will update this first name and last name as well as you can see right now this profile has information like three fields salary designation and picture if i want to update those fields as well so because that uh, model has a field which is image field so basically when you if you want to pass data with json that will be tricky right so that is why so many people are asking for this video so this is the reason now what we will do here here is the views.py right so what we will do we will create another detailed route that will be help helping us to add the profile so what we will do we will create one method here that is upload or just profile self request pk is equal to none as this is the detailed route okay so i am just putting pass right now because we need to add the decorator here so and what is the decorator i have already explained in the uh, previous videos that is action so you can create the detailed route or maybe list route right so this is the decorator we have already imported here from rest framework which you need to use here action and just pass that detail is equal to true and which method you want to use here as we are just updating the profile we will definitely use put method okay so methods put now what will happen here as as you are in a detailed route you will have the method which you can use to get the object so user is equal to self dot get object which will give you the user object through this pk and what is that pk this one which we are going to pass but now the url will be like this profile so this is the new url new url for updating this three field salary designation and picture okay and the method will be the same put but now you cannot pass these three fields you will be able to pass salary okay then designation and then picture here you need to just pass the image even though you uh, if you will pass uh, something different then it will give you an error okay so still we are just making it ready to pass that in those information i am just saying that how it will be the structure we are going to pass the data okay but still the api is pending okay now we have user and using user we will be able to get the profile as well so we will get that profile is equal to user dot profile as it is a one to one relationship right okay now we will use the serializer which is already existing let me show you that yes this is the profile serializer in this also we can use we don't need id actually but fields are there this three fields are required not required i will say it will it, it they are just supporting those three fields to update the information right so now you will be able to update salary designation and picture so serializer then what we what we are going to use profile serializer and how we pass the arguments as we are updating the data first we will pass the instance that is profile 
comma data is equal to request dot data okay so request to data contains all these three fields so what happens here so basically we need to use parser classes so if you don't pass those parser classes those form parser and multi part parser both are default and json parsers as well so you don't need to pass but if you want to pass then you can do like this parser classes is equal to here in, inside this you need to pass form parser comma multi part parser okay and how you can import that so you need to use this risk framework let me show you that here it is from risk framework dot parsers import form parser and multi part parser right so there are other parses are also available that is json parser which you have to add here as well why because you can pass you can create that employee using json information as well right we need this uh, this th uh, two parsers for this particular detail route only but for others we need json parser as well okay so i just made a mistake here json is whole capital all right so that's how you mention parsers okay so here it is here it is now you, you need to just check that serializer is valid or not if it is valid you just need to save that serializer dot save and then return response serializer dot data and then status is equal to 200 because this is just update right if we are creating that then we need to pass 201 else serializer validation is failed that means we need to just return errors so those errors are available inside this serializer dot errors and status is equal to 400 why because this is bad request okay so now this url this detail route is ready now so we can test it let's check it out first this server is running successfully yes it is running now you need to just pass this send it as you can see here seller is 1000 we can get the more information here but we don't want to do that if you want to get the more information just use this get method slash and then send it here it is now as you can see arrow first name is this last name is this now profile is updated as well seller is there designation is there picture is also there right now if you will see that image that image is available right okay so this is the very simple way uh, if you have the image field or file field inside in your any model and if you are not a, if you are if you are having that complex json structure for requesting uh, for posting the data then that in that case you can just splitting two routes and make one separate route which can handle only image right so just you need to uh, figure out how you want to handle that okay now there is another way that is i will show you that class upload view okay so i am just creating another view which is not related to any model or serializer if you don't have any serializer you just want one image and you want to figure out something whatever you want to do with that image right so i will just create one view in which i will show you how we will get the image and after that you can do whatever you want right so let's figure out that how we can do that so similar to these three parsers there is one more parser is available that is upload parser file upload parser okay so i will show you that file upload parser 
okay so let me import that first we need to use the post method here as we are not updating anything else then what you need to do here let me first add the parser here parser classes is equal to then file upload parser as it is a tuple you have to pass this comma otherwise it will raise an error okay now in this post method you need, you need to just get the value from request dot data dictionary using this key okay now file is there you can just print this file or I will add something here that is import pdb okay so I will show you that what happens there and then what is happening what is this pdb uh, maybe i will create one more video for this pdb this is uh, basically for uh, debugging and the python code debugging this as you can see here the hint right model pdb of Py python debugger right so i will i will create one more video for debugging the python okay so right now i am just using that return response So I will just use this or maybe I can use like this get if the file is there or none if file message file is received okay and status is equal to 200 else file is missing and error message is 400 this is bad request okay now everything is ready I just need to add also one more thing that is this one user must be logged in uh, to upload the file okay so the route is ready we just need to add one more URL for this so this is the API URLs inside that you just need to create one more, one more path just pass that upload comma and as we have imported star so you can import directly that is upload view dot as view and you can just give it the name that is file upload okay so url is also ready let me see the server is restarted yes now let's check it out the url okay so i'm just i'm just not copying it i just yes i have to copy it i guess localhost API and then upload okay I'll just use post and let me copy this authorization I have to copy again All right uh, let me send now so there is some kind of error okay so it is saying that route is not available why is that actually it is there okay the mistake is I haven't put slash here otherwise everything is okay and fine okay so as, as we haven't passed any file object here it should raise an access uh, it should okay 
so as we have put here uh, debugger let me print so what is file this is none right because we haven't passed any file object so for continue this request I will just put C and enter so as you can see printed none because we haven't passed anything and the response is message file is missing okay now let's file uh, let's pass some data using like file and then file here just choose any file now you can also pass document and just send it now as we put again that detail missing file name request should include a content disposition header with a file name parameter okay so this is the header which you have to pass content disposition okay like this let me look at that exactly exactly the way of passing what is that here it is this is the uh, data you have to pass attachment and the file name which you want to pass okay so you can pass like book dot xml sorry it's a what is that excel excel alex okay so this is the name now it is in a debugger now if you see the file it, it is already uploaded and it is in, in memory right so this is the object in memory uploaded file so same object will be created also when we used that previous one in this previous one it is also created the same object but the profile serializer handles those, those things automatically and that object is saved inside the model so it will really upload or uh, store the file in media folder as you can see here this is the media 2018 right so if you refresh this here it is it's 12 month and 29th date and these are the images right so as you can see this image is already uploaded here but now right now this image is in memory still we haven't stored into the database so what is the purpose of this that if you want to check something if you want to edit this image from the backend if you want to uh, crop or something whatever you want to do you want to manipulate this image and you can do it the file metadata only you want that also you can do so these are the uh, tasks which you want to do after getting the image into the backend system right so I just showed the uh, the way how to upload the image or file right so these are the two ways which you can use okay so I think that's it uh, from this video uh, I guess uh, you have seen that how to upload the file and image uh, using Django REST framework okay and also you have seen uh, how I use this postman to post the data along with other data uh, file along with other data right okay as you can see here body that salary and designation there are other fields with the file field so that's it from this video uh, if you have uh, any problem or any issue you are facing while doing this just let me know in the comment section and please like this video subscribe the, uh, subscribe this channel and also please share this video with your friends and see you soon in the next video